His afternoon, I'll delve into the tale of a true life war hero, recounting the story of the smallest soldier to fight in World War II, as depicted in the film Soldier Boy. In the midst of a picturesque scene by the river, a family of three enjoyed each other's company. The youngest, Sergei Alyoshkov, bragged to his brother and mother about his tree climbing skills. Suddenly, German fighter jets disrupted the peaceful atmosphere, prompting the mother to urge her children to hide in the bushes. Unfazed, Sergei remained steadfast, using a slingshot to strike and destroy the jets. When he looked around, his family had vanished. Panicked, Sergei called out for his mother, only to be met with a knock on the door. Believing it was his mother, he eagerly opened it, but instead, a neighbor woman appeared, frantically expressing gratitude for his safety. She conveyed the devastating news that his mother and brother had passed away, leaving Sergei in disbelief. The woman encouraged him to flee, but Sergei desired to wait for his mother. The woman explained that the Germans had attacked, and he needed to escape immediately. Just then, soldiers approached the house, and the woman helped Sergei escape through the window, sacrificing her own life in the process. Alone and lost, six-year-old Sergei fled, witnessing his neighborhood burn behind him. The young boy fruitlessly calls out for his mother, before fleeing and becoming lost in a dense forest. He spends the night alone, and the next morning, he drinks water from a river. Unbeknownst to him, enemy soldiers are nearby, and he takes refuge in a tree's roots to avoid detection. Although a snake slithers nearby, he remains frozen in fear, more terrified of the soldiers than the serpent. After the soldiers depart, he scavenges their leftover food to sustain himself for the night. However, by the day's end, exhaustion overwhelms him, and he collapses from hunger and fatigue. As he continues his journey, he comes across wild berries and devours them, but an explosion suddenly erupts behind him, leaving him dizzy and hallucinating. Despite his fear, he musters the courage to declare that he is armed and unafraid, but eventually succumbs to his exhaustion and falls unconscious. Two soldiers happen upon him while he sleeps. The scene shifts to the Russian army base, where Commander Kuznetsov is eagerly awaiting the return of his patrol soldiers. As they enter the base, they bring with them a young boy who has been injured and appears weak. The soldiers claim that they are on the boy's side, and he, in turn, introduces himself. The commander takes an interest in the boy and offers him water and food. Even the usually stoic commander is drawn to the boy's charming personality. A nurse named Katya tends to the boy's wounds and is captivated by his spirit. The boy expresses his desire to become a soldier when he grows up and asks Katya to draw a tank on his wounds. The injured soldiers are also charmed by the boy's presence and engage in conversation with him. Commander Kuznetsov answers the boy's questions and even allows him to play with his honorary pistol after removing the bullets. The boy proudly shows off the tank drawn on his stomach and boasts about his own soldier aspirations. He is healing rapidly, and Nurse Katya suggests that he stay with the battalion, but the commander declines, citing safety concerns and plans to send him to an orphanage instead. Despite this, the soldiers spend all their free time with Sergei and he is visited by many throughout the day, receiving food and playing with their binoculars. A soldier approached the commander with a request to allow a young boy to remain with their battalion. The troops had developed a strong bond with the child, and his presence provided a much-needed respite from the weight of war. However, the commander was resolute in his decision to send the boy to an orphanage for his own safety. The next day, the enemy launched an attack, resulting in numerous casualties among the soldiers. As a vehicle arrived to transport the boy to the orphanage, the commander broke the news to him and presented him with a wooden honorary pistol as a gift. The boy embraced the commander, expressing his fear for the commander's safety, which moved him to change his mind. The commander asked the boy to stay with the soldiers as his son. That night, the troops searched for small soldier uniforms for the boy, and they were overjoyed to have him remain with them. The commander woke the boy up and gave him the clothes, and he wore them proudly, running around and looking like a real soldier. The other soldiers began calling him their little soldier boy. As the boy played, the Germans launched an air attack on the battalion. The soldiers quickly took the boy to a safe location and fought off the attackers, but the number of injured soldiers continued to rise. Wanting to help, the boy brought water to the thirsty soldiers, and one of them asked him to read a letter from his family because he had a bandage over his eyes. The young boy is eager to assist despite his inability to read. He takes the letter and fabricates its contents, claiming the soldier's cow is safe at home. When the soldier reveals he doesn't have a cow, the others encourage him to continue the story and laugh. He proceeds to invent stories for everyone else's letters, lifting their spirits. In the next scene, 
Katya and the Commander Converse, displaying mutual attraction yet failing to express their feelings. Sergei then introduces himself as an orderly and offers his introduction to the Commander. However, the boy's mood is dampened when he discovers a destroyed soldier station. The Commander teaches him to remove his hat as a sign of respect for the fallen soldier. The following day, the boy requests a mission and is tasked with distributing letters among the soldiers. He accomplishes his task efficiently and even gets the soldiers to dance for him. Later, Sergei ventures slightly away from the base with his binoculars and spots someone moving inside a haystack. He rushes back to inform the soldiers, who are initially skeptical but eventually follow him. Upon reaching the haystack, they discover two German spies hiding beneath, and the boy is praised for his keen observation. That evening, the commander presents Sergei with the official documents finalizing his adoption, making him the boy's legal father. Wanting to repay the commander's kindness, Sergei takes him to confess his feelings to Katya. However, they mistakenly assume she is interested in another man when they catch her talking to someone else. The base is attacked by the Germans once again, and this time, Sergei actively helps the soldiers by providing them with ammunition. Despite his efforts, he is ordered to return to the shed due to the danger. There, he finds the commander and others in a state of panic as they have lost connection with the colonel. A soldier is sent to fix the issue, but he is fatally wounded. Sergei follows the soldier's instructions and successfully restores the connection, saving everyone. Later, the commander and Katya have a heart-to-heart -heart by the river, where he confesses his love for her and asks her to be Sergei's mother. Just as she is about to respond, a soldier interrupts them with a letter, informing the commander of their dispatch to a new base. The following day, the soldiers, including Sergei, depart for their new destination. However, their journey is interrupted by a minefield, which causes some vehicles to explode, injuring the commander and killing the group's orderly, who was close to Sergei. The boy is filled with grief and embraces the commander. The young boy, Sergei, accompanies the soldiers as they transport their wounded comrades to their new base. When they arrive, they meet General, the leader of the commander's division. The general is impressed by Sergei's determination and praises the commander for having such a talented youngster. The next day, their division is awarded a guard's banner, and Sergei is also given one. He promises to protect his country when the general presents him with his batch. However, their base is attacked viciously that night, and the commander is trapped under the debris. Sergei cries out for his father and tries to rescue him. He calls for help from the other soldiers, who eventually manage to free the commander. The following day, Sergei approaches the injured commander, who was hurt while attempting to save him. The young boy has now become an integral part of the team. He has no family besides them and moves with them wherever they go in the war. The movie concludes with the regiment seen moving to another base, as a voiceover narrates that Sergei also participated in the Stalingrad battle and eventually reached Poland with the soldiers. He is now renowned as the youngest soldier in history, and his legendary tale of bravery is being spread far and wide. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a like to support the channel. Thank you for watching.